took us a little bit uh, by surprise, but, uh, but overall, um, first, I think the IRA uh, is going in the right direction to, um, to help the U.S. Uh, to decarbonize uh, the industry and energy, and it is good. Second, of course, we have some trade irritants, uh, if I may say so, like, for example, the car subsidies, but we are used to it, and I'm absolutely convinced that we will find a way uh, uh, to solve it. And we have a team now working together uh, uh, with the U.S., and I'm confident we'll find a way. And third, no. of course, and third, if I may say so, third, of course, there is a lot of subsidies now in the U.S., but, of course, it's our call, uh, our job, uh, to make it also happen as a clean tech um, act, like we did, by the way, for the cheap. You know, uh, I always said uh, we are here uh, not to compete. We are near, here to work together. So fair competition, of course, but working together is definitely what we want to do. We did it for the chips. There is no uh, reason that we will not be able to do it, coordinating our efforts for the clean tech industry. When I was in Davos last week and, and in subsequent conversations, there's almost a dual view, isn't there? There's almost a begrudging from Europe a begrudging admiration at the way in which this act has been put together, even though it does have parts that Europeans find wrong or anti-competitive. And yet at the same time, the EU is looking at ways it can replicate many of the things that the IRA does. Well, you know, again, what is important is to make sure that what we will invest huge amount of money here in Europe uh, uh, to make sure that we will uh, um, reach our goal by 2050, being a zero CO2 continent. 450 million euros per year to uh, achieve this goal. So, of course, my job as a commissioner for internal market is to make sure that this will create jobs in Europe. And that's why uh, we, uh, we think that it's important to have our response, or let's say a European sort of a European IRA, which is exactly what President von der Leyen presented in, uh, in Davos, by the way, and we are working on it now. It's true that uh, uh, in, in the US it came, it came quickly, but I think we are not too late because we are finalizing it now in just a few months after. My wish, and that's why also I'm here in Washington DC today, is that now we coordinate ourselves, like we did, by the way, for the CHIP Act. It was an EU CHIP Act, a US CHIP Act, and we worked well together. There is no reason why we will not be able to coordinate ourselves now and our efforts for the clean tech industry. Well, there is one reason, Commissioner. The US has now passed its legislation and seems, bearing in mind the political realities in Washington, it's unlikely that it would make major changes. So you are in a position back in Brussels of really wanting to do a tit for tat. Well, not exactly. I mean, because it will not be the same. We have also our own strengths. We are our own rules. And we will be able to hopefully uh, to pass also our legislation, hopefully uh, by, by, by summer time. This is, of course, uh, what we, we want to reach. But, you know, the most important thing is that everyone and all the industries understand that, of course, we are very serious right. when we are speaking about clean tech. And, uh, and we will do things our way for European companies, of course, and of course for the companies who would like to invest also in Europe. We are welcoming all companies to invest in Europe. We need to make sure that they will find, uh, let's say, an easy access <laughs> for the clean tech industry and also the support that it requires. The EU has been very clear to social medias like Twitter, follow the rules or you will pay a penalty. Now, of course, we're looking at TikTok where there's a slightly different issue, isn't there? There's one of China and security and proprietary. And you're basically taking the view, um, play by our rules or you will be out. Is that a fair synopsis? No, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's uh, pretty well said. Uh, we have now our rules, uh, uh, DSA, the DSA, Digital Services Act, the DMA, the Digital Market Act. They will be enforceable now uh, within the next uh, uh, three, four months. So now we are finalizing uh, the investigation to make sure who will be uh, a, a big platform, a systemic platform, this is what we call them. So uh, they will have to follow our rules. Obviously, TikTok uh, uh, announced us that they, they, they prepare to be a systemic platform. So they will have to follow our rules. 
And it's true that I had a meeting last week uh, uh, with the CEO of uh, TikTok, and I told him that now, of course, uh, with everything we see, uh, if it, is, it doesn't correct uh, uh, the weaknesses, uh, which are not compatible anymore with our law, uh, you mentioned it, sanctions, could be also a ban. So uh, they better change it very quickly because there are only three more months left. And then, of course, we will start to enforce and we will enforce. You will. Yes, it's my job.